So, uh, who's your favorite character? Oh gosh, probably Wash. Oh, Alan Tudyk, he's great. Have you seen his cousin who also acts? Oh yeah, what's his name? Alan Tudyk. Right, right. Hey everybody! Today, Meredith and I have a very special episode for you. This one's just for the adults, so kids, get the hell out of here. Because today, we're going to talk about sex in the zombie apocalypse. Or sex apocalypse. So, without further ado, here's the Survival Guy's Guide to Sex in the Zombie Apocalypse. Just the tips edition. Tip number five, pickup lines. You'll need to woo that potential survivor, and first impressions are very key out here. Hey, baby, you want me to uh, check you for bite marks? I don't think I have any. Would you like some? So pick something funny and, you know, it'll help break the ice and make her a little less trigger happy. Tip number four, always use protection. Not only is safe sex extremely important with all the plagues going around, but you'll want to keep a firearm nearby in case of any unwanted visitors to your evening. I like to use two magnums. Nice. Uh, yeah. Tip number three, noise. Yeah, there's no general way of putting this. That's what she said. But you're gonna wanna keep your noise level to a minimum. If you're a little bit louder in the sack, you know, keep in mind zombies are attracted to noise, so maybe uh, change your moans to sound more zombie-like. <laughs> Those dummies was just thinking one of them. <sighs> Tip number two. Don't form any emotional attachments to the people that you're with. Well, they're all gonna be dead in a few weeks anyway. Right, enjoy it for a while, but just know it's not gonna last. You know, in this way, the apocalypse is a lot like the 70s. <laughs> and that brings us to our tip tip of the sex porcalypse. A live sex is better sex. Sure is. So that's the end of the episode. I really thank you guys for stopping by. And remember, stay sexy out there.